Ladies and gentlemen, 50 construction, nice. For our chamber. I'm gonna keep going though. Two porter chambers. I'm going to keep going to 51 though. Seven wood cutting, very nice. Ladies and gentlemen, 51 construction, that's going to end my construction grind for a while. Now with the rest of these planks, I'm going to have to make some stuff here. Going to build our armor case. Last but not least, our magic wardrobe, which I'm missing one plank. And the reason why we got 51. Boom. Okay, my house is getting a little fuller. Uh, now I'm going to have to work on this porter room. I need four limestone bricks and 15 of these teak planks. So that calls for going to Castle Wars. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, the construction ground is done. Here are my skills. Primarily, I just wanted to make this video because there's not a lot of Ultimate Iron Man that are 10 HP on YouTube. So, the only two that I could think of is Teeks just made an Ultimate Iron Man, and Iron Seaball, who had a 11 HP normal Iron Man, now has a 10 HP Ultimate Iron Man. And I shouldn't say now. 
he's had it for quite some time now. A little over 1,000 total level. And looking at my skills, I'm almost there. So this video just is going to be a little introductionary video. Basically, I just want to run down what my goals are. Um, first one was the construction goal, 51 construction. That's going to end my grind completely. Um, because I don't need anything over 51 construction unless I want to make those uh, pools in the garden. Um, but yeah, if you look at my teleports, I have Lumbridge, Vera, and Falador, and the ones over here are going to be Artie and Camelot. I don't need those two now because I have the Artie cloak, and Camelot, I have air runes in my uh, inventory already, so I can always teleport to Camelot if I need to. I rarely go to Camelot though. And the third one here, I have no idea. It's either going to be Watchtower. Um, which I'm not 66 magic yet, so I don't need to go there. Um, I got always Nightmare Teleport, Nightmare Zone. Um, or it's going to be Great Karen. Um, my house right now is at Great Karen. If I decide to move it, then this third portal is most likely going to be Great Karen. Again, I think that's level 68, 69. I'm only 56. So yeah, now I have the Magic Wardrobe and the Armor Case. Armor Case, um, I could put my... Rogue's outfit in, which I'm not level 50 yet, but once I hit level 50, I'll go ahead and start getting the Rogue outfit and put it in the armor case. Um, that's the reason why I didn't train a lot of thieving in the beginning, because I wanted a Rogue set, but I have Graceful already, and I don't want to keep both of them in my inventory. Magic Wardrobe is there for, I think, put Graceful in there and Pyro. Um, the reason why I wanted 51 is so this, um, the, one, the tier below this wardrobe, only keeps one set armor. Uh, this one does give it two, or holds two. Here is my quest hall. As you can see, no glory. And that's going to be my next go. As you can see, I'm level one hunter. Um, I'm going to take this a little differently. I'm actually not going to train hunter for the go of glory. I'm actually going to be training my magic up to enchant a dragonstone amulet. But before then, I'm going to be training my crafting to level 80 and my thieving to level 84. Um, the rogue chest in the wilderness gives a chance to uh, give a uncut dragonstone and I'm just going to cut it and grab my own dragonstone amulet which requires 80 crafting and then I think 68 uh, magic is when I can enchant it now I'll get a glory and I'll mount it so you may be asking why are you going to train two skills around 80 and now one skill at 80 so you could just get the glory faster um, I'm not a big fan of hunter I'm definitely going to train it. It's going to be easy levels to add to, uh, on top of the total levels. But the reason why I want to tra train two skills versus one is, one, thieving, you're going to train anyway. It's an easy skill, fast code, easy to get a 99. Crafting, however, a little difficult for ultimate armor. But one of my other goals is to get two pieces of onyx equipment, the fury, and the regen bracelet. Regen first, I think it's the more useful one. Um, it does take a gloves to slot, and the Fury only takes an Ami, which I don't have an Ami, so it'll be basically best to slot defensively. Regen Bracelet, however, is much more useful in that it's good for Winter Toad. Right, it deals damage. Winter Toad does damage over time, or Pyramid Plunder, which damage uh, over time as well. So Regen Bracelet is much better, especially on top of the fact that I'm only 10 HP. <laughs> um, those are the goals right now. Um, regen bracelet requires, or the onyx bracelet will require 84 crafting and then 94 uh, onyx amulet, and of course a magic level of 87. So it's going to be pretty expensive. I think I calculated it's like 2.8 to 3 mil, um, just in chaos runes to sell to get to Toku to buy an onyx. Double that, and then combine with the fact that I have to train magic. So it's going to be quite expensive. Right now I only have 100k, but I'm just going to keep doing Pyramid Plunder until I have the money. Now, Glory is going to be pretty important. What I'm going to do with the Glory is uh, it will enable me to do Herblore. And I, once I get there, I'll tell you guys what I'll be doing for Herblore. Um, but for right now, I think I'm going to start trading my Thieving up to 45, one more level, so that I could do Black Dragon. Getting the 84 should be easy. XP rates for thieving is quite high. Uh, and then crafting. So the method I'm going to choose to do for crafting is not glass blowing. 
So at level 46, you could glass blow unpowered orbs. And unpowered orbs it gives gives 52.5 EXP per glass you blow, obviously. Uh, and then 49, which is three levels higher, 49, you'll get you'll be able to glass blow lantern ones at 50 for 55 EXP per. What I want to do instead is requirement of 23 crafting, you can make tiaros out of silver. Now they get 52.5 EXP, the same as Unpowered Orbs. And it's not much of a difference in terms of EXP between Lantern Lawns, which are 55, and Unpowered Orbs, which is 52.5, until you get to Light Orbs, which is 87, which will give you 70 EXP per. And the reason why I want to do Tiaras is it doesn't cost anything. I just have to mine the silver and then go ahead and make them into Tiaras. What I'll do is I'll buy a Tiara mode, have 20 spaces open, Preferably sell my rune axe and buy rune pickaxe. And go to the Tsar city, where where the gold and silver mine, the three of each, mine the silver, just run a little bit south and start making TRs out of it. I don't know what the EXP per hour is, but I'm gonna assume that I could safely make them to 50 without wanting to kill myself. I just wanna make the YouTube there's not a lot of H like 10 HP, anything, really, anyone, whether it's Iron Man or not. We got Teeks that have a normal 10 HP account. We have Camp Q, which is a 10 HP in quotations, Iron Man. Iron Seaball, which has an 11 or 10 HP, whatever you want to call it. Normal Iron Man, and he has a normal 10 Ultimate Iron Man as well. And there's, yeah, there's really not a lot of accounts, or not a lot of YouTubers that have these accounts. Uh, what, Nothing Last just came back to YouTube uh, with his 10 HP Iron Man, and like, that's about it. So the reason I'm making this YouTube video is to try to educate a lot of people on 10 HP accounts, uh, different perspectives. So there'll be more videos about these types of accounts for you guys to enjoy. And with that being said, I'm very hungry. It's 12 p.m. and I haven't had breakfast yet. So I'll be right back.